Well, good afternoon. Uh, we are in a nice little quiet spell before more storms develop. Gives us a chance to go back and review all of the incredible photos that you guys have sent us. This is our view along East Grand Forks or in town there. You can see the water tower there. Uh, Kayla sent this to us of that gorgeous rainbow. Lots of rainbow pictures uh, ended up in our photo gallery from this latest round and some dark clouds there too. And another photo of those storm clouds brewing there in the Bemidji area. Jared sent this to us. Now let's take a look at that compared to how things are looking right now. We've got uh, skies that are clear, just one or two little guide clouds there uh, floating above Fargo right now. Nice, beautiful green canopy too. Uh, now that the trees have really uh, leafed out, we'll say here. And so looking at some really kind of summertime views here uh, in our photos there and in our current conditions as well. Looks like we lost our satellite data in the last uh, frame of this loop here, but we have had some clear skies uh, over the course of much of the morning as the rain moved out. You can see the rain moving on from the Bidette area. A couple of showers up by Towner County, but overall it is a quieter start to the afternoon. Temperatures are warm. We are already in the 80s for some of us in the south. We're at 80 degrees in Fargo. It's 85 in Sisseton and even Halock at 81 right now. Some upper 70s in the Northern Valley too with Grand Forks at 79. A uh, little bit of wind. Most of us though seeing wind speeds less than 15 miles per hour. A couple of gusts here. Langdon, Jamestown and Oaks both or all three gusting to 20 miles per hour with that wind out of the west. So we do have a chance for more rain and thunderstorms later this afternoon in the next few hours. But the good news is, is that the severe risk has moved on out of our viewing area. At least it's shifted eastward toward Minneapolis, uh, the St. Cloud, Duluth area back down to Sioux Falls in this more solid deep color of green. The lighter green areas, that's where we're looking at the potential for thunderstorms, but not necessarily seeing that severe threat uh, as great as where we have that that marginal risk in place. So let's take a look at what to expect heading into the afternoon. Over the course of a few hours, we'll start to see some of those thunderstorms popping here. A couple of cells here and there about three o'clock, and then that continues on into the evening hours. The focus is northern part of the valley, especially, and that over to the east as well have the potential for seeing that rain and thunder. Uh, and then southern valley more likely to be on the quieter side. Doesn't mean we won't see a storm, uh, but the better bet will be in that northern part of the region. We'll continue to see this into the later evening hours. This is 7 p.m. and that will carry on into a late tonight. But eventually, once that sun sets, we'll start to see those showers and thunder showers diminish and we'll end up into a quieter night here tonight uh, into tomorrow morning as well. So again, another round of rain and thunder for some of us, not all of us, just like yesterday. Not everybody got the rain. Same thing today. It's going to be more focused into the northern end of the valley. Let's take a look at our rainfall potential. So uh, next uh, 24 hours, or so here we're looking at rain most likely north most likely east we will add to that. Let's go through the rest of the work week because we do have more rain chances coming our way and where those set up where you see multiple rounds of thunderstorms over some of the same areas anywhere in yellow there. That's more than an inch of rain by Friday night. So that possibility is there and actually our chances for rain and thunder continue into the weekend. So Bottom line is, is active each day, not necessarily raining each day, each day where you are, uh, but still a possibility and hot too. 90s come back. All right. Yeah, it is going to be hot. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Lisa.